हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू एम बी करो एंड मैट नोटिफिकेशन इज आउट एंड यू मस्ट हैव स्टार्टेड योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सिलेबस ऑफ क्वान्टिटेटिव स्किल्स ओके वॉट इज आस्ट इन द क्वान्टिटेटिव स्किल्स सेक्शन वॉट आर द टॉपिक्स दैट आर टेस्टेड इन दिस एग्जामिनेशन ओके एंड वॉट इज द वेट ऑफ डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स If you are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe to us for great content on MBA preparation first and foremost data interpretation if you are a cad aspirants then you see di lr is a separate section but in nmat di is a part of quant okay so you get one or two sets of four questions each okay so that means four or eight questions of di then the data sets are based on tables bar graphs line graphs pie charts or multi graph by multi graph i mean combination of two graphs like pie chart plus bar graph bar graph plus line graph okay so that is what is tested conventional graph types the concepts that are tested are percentages ratios averages and normal calculations right uh, how much does the production exceed in 2023 with respect to 22 so those kind of questions are tested sometimes they can be calculation intensive some of the questions of the di can be calculation intensive otherwise it is a normal di the conventional di that you get on graph based okay so <clears throat> it just tests your percentage ratio average calculation skills it does not test you uh, like logical di which you get in cad so unlike that it is plain typical conventional di sets next is data sufficiency which is important for anmat because uh, and other examinations you do not get questions on ds here you have four questions and they cover different topics right they can be from number system they can be from permutation combination they can be from uh, simple and compound interest so you need to master all the topics that means basically they test your concept in different topics let's say it could be percentage based it could be profit loss based ratio proportion based or it could be from numbers etc so four questions they are from diverse topics then arithmetic is a significant portion of the examination around to 10 10 to 12 questions are from arithmetic itself uh, you get questions on percentages and their applications like profit loss simple interest compound interest ratio and its applications like partnership mixture averages time and work time speed distance so all these topics are tested upon some topics you might get two to three questions also let us say one person might encounter three questions on simple interest and compound interest or another person might have two or three questions on mixture and allegation some people might have two to three questions on time and work so touching all these topics you get collectively around 10 to 12 questions the level is moderate to difficult difficult i mean that the questions are lengthy okay uh, if you talk about these particular uh, things okay so that uh, the level is moderate to difficult then we talk about the algebra part okay algebra has four to five questions and uh, uh, it has questions on logarithms modulus arithmetic and geometric progression series based questions linear and quadratic equations okay so uh, the level of algebra is easy unlike cad which has very difficult algebra it has easy to moderate level one question might be from logarithms another could be from uh, linear and quadratic equations talking about the roots of the equation sum of the roots product of the roots etc similarly arithmetic or geometric progression could be tested so four to five questions relatively easier than cat if you talk about the modern maths part uh, now if you are a cat aspirants then you try to ignore this because there are hardly any questions one or two questions from modern math however in nmat you will find too many questions like at least 5 to 6 questions are from modern math and they involve permutation combination and good questions on permutation combination right you need to understand these topics in detail then there are questions on set theory there are questions on probability okay so this is what you get in the examination set theory probability uh, so maybe like let's say 3 2 2 2 questions you might get or you might get 3 1 2 so it could be any combination right there is no such defined thing 
but yes you will get a good number of questions from modern maths so you cannot ignore modern maths for an math maybe for cat you might skip it because you think that okay uh, hardly one or two questions are asked but for an math you have to prepare this topic then comes number system number system also has 3 to 4 questions in an math the level is usually easy to moderate you get questions on units digit fractions divisibility and remainder factors hcf and lcm etc okay so these are the different topics which are tested in uh, the number system okay and uh, you might get like which of the following fractions is the lowest or some numbers raised to some powers you need to tell which is the highest or lowest you might be asked to find the units digit of some number okay divisibility based questions right if the number is divisible by 24 what are the values of a and b right factors based question finding the number of factors hcf and lcm so these are the topics which are holistically covered so three to four questions on a number system as well now if you are a cat aspirant you generally ignore modern maths and number system because there are two to three questions uh, from these topics but in mat you will have around 8 to 10 at least 8 to 10 questions from these topics so you cannot ignore number system and uh, modern math but one good thing in in mat is you have no geometry okay so all these things are there but geometry is not there so geometry is compensated with these topics so they do not ask questions on geometry so if you are preparing for anmat do not prepare geometry because ultimately you will realize are geometry ka koi question hi nahi aata so focus on uh, like arithmetic of course everyone prepares arithmetic but the level of questions can be high work on permutation combinations work on number system understand data sufficiency what are the rules okay and also apart from that uh, work on di calculations so that you can ace this section in case you are preparing for nmat and snap we have a dedicated course for this examinations in which we cover exam specific topics as i said that let's say data sufficiency is asked in nmat so we will have classes uh, on data sufficiency similarly permutation combination we will teach in detail the question types which are asked in nmat okay and all the topics in all the sections shall be covered which are exam specific let us say in logical reasoning you have critical reasoning so we have a lot of classes on critical reasoning similarly in english you have certain topics which are tested so that will be covered in this course exam specific topics for both these exams and additionally you will get 10 nmat marks plus 20 snap marks okay so if you wish to enroll in the course you can check out the link given in the description of this video and we are also offering nmat mocks on the latest pattern and difficulty level however not to make any false claim these are non adaptive so if you wish to practice the kind of questions then only go for these mocks because they cannot guarantee you that you will get a similar score if you take the official mocks okay so official uh, let me tell you about the official mocks also there is one free official mock and there are two paid ones okay and if you look at the cost of these two paid ones that is 999 plus gst so it will cost you around uh, 1180 rupees okay just for two mocks and they do not have any solution also but the scores will be very much similar to what you get in the actual examination so that we will get the same sort of interface wherein uh, you cannot uh, navigate back to the previous question so it get similar interface and you get a 10 mocks for 1500 okay so that's a better deal for you okay uh, 10 mocks so uh, five times the amount of practice that you can get plus the solutions as well so if you wish to uh, enroll in the same you can check it out so this was the quantitative skills section that what are the topics so primarily data interpretation and data sufficiency arithmetic algebra uh, arithmetic moderate to difficult algebra easy modern math moderate level okay not very easy you need to cover all the topics you need to understand different kind of permutation based questions different combination based questions probability and even bayes theorem so all these things you need to cover well and apart from that we have uh, number system also and no geometry so this was the syllabus for qs section 
and uh, similar videos I have created for other two sections as well. So do check them out to understand the complete syllabus of NMAT and if this is your main target examination, prepare accordingly. It is no point studying irrelevant topics or missing out on topics which are uh, asked in this examination. So please watch these videos to understand the syllabus and prepare for this examination. And in case you look for a structured preparation where you get a proper guidance and practice material, mocks, etc. You can enroll in our NMAT and SNAP batch. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.